This video will show you how to mix chemicals to use in your sprayer. The first thing to understand is there is no set mixture. The mixture is specific to your sprayer. To determine the correct mixture for your sprayer, you have to know how many square feet a set volume of liquid, let's say a gallon, will cover. I'm going to show you how to do this. The first step is to determine how wide our spray pattern is. Yeah, we got a good spray pattern, so this is the next in step. We have to measure how wide this is. Let me get a tape measure. Eight, nine, yeah. Well, this is 11, yeah, 11 feet, so six and a half each way. So what we're doing, we have to figure out flow rate per feet, square feet, because any of those things you mix, it's gonna say the rate of application is so many ounces per square feet or square yard or acre or whatever. So to know that, you have to know how much fluid you put out per square foot, square yard, square acre, whatever. So what we're gonna do, we know this thing spreads a pattern 11 feet wide what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go run a measured course let's say 100 foot this way 10 over 100 foot this way 10 over and we are just gonna keep running laps until we run out of fluid all right so let's say there's a hundred hundred ten 10, that's 220 a lap. So let's say we did, let's say we just were able to do one lap and we ran out. So we went 220 feet times 11 feet. So that'd be 220 times 11, which would be, if you do this the old fashioned way, 2200 plus 220, which would be 2420, I think, whatever, you know what I'm saying. So that would have been 2,420 square feet. So 11 feet going shh. We will have covered 2,420 square feet. And then divided by 10, we can, we can get this down. Once we know this number, that we are spraying 2,420 for 10, 10 gallons, so 242 square feet a gallon or whatever that ends up being once we know this figure right here we can solve for anything whatever whatever mix rate they give you because it's going to be so much per square something this number isn't this this is the, it's different for everybody because it depends on how wide your pump sprays but it depends on how fast you're going let's see you're going one mile an hour you know, you're going to dump out, you, you, you got to have everything in 50 feet. So that's why this tractor is good. It's a gear tractor. I put it in second gear. I'm putting third gear and it's going to be the same speed all the time. Whatever lawnmower, riding mower, use whatever. Just try to keep a constant speed. The speed that you feel comfortable with will be the speed that you spray at. It's going to be exact. You're just trying to get as close as you can. So the next step, we know this. The next step is to go figure out what this is. So that's what we're getting ready to go do. I start at the edge of that little shed right there. And go all the way over to that container. I think I remember it was 180 feet. So I'm just gonna do those laps. So we'll come up here. Turn on the sprayer and let's go. Keep going until we run out. This is about the speed I would normally travel. to 
do it with the spray turn right here. Okay, we just ran laps on a measured course and we ran four and a half laps. I know that one lap is 360 feet. We ran four and a half. So if you multiply those together, that will give you 1,620 feet is the distance we went. Now the width of our sprayer is 11 feet. And if you think about length times width, 11 feet times 1620 gives you 17,820 square feet. So that's the amount of area we covered with our sprayer. We sprayed 10 gallons. So for 10 gallons, we covered 17,820 square feet. So if you divide that by 10, that will tell you that one gallon will cover 1,782 square feet. Now that we know that, we can go figure out how to mix the chemicals. Okay, if you look on the side of the prodiamine jug, which is what our sample product is, it says the dosage rate is 1 to 2.3 pounds an acre, or 0.37 to 0.83 ounces per 1,000 square feet. Now that ounces is weight, not liquid since we already figured out our spray area is one gallon for 1782 square feet if we take 1782 divided by a thousand that gives us 1.782 if we multiply that times the low dosage of 0.37 that gives us 0 0.7 0 0.659 round it up now if we multiply 1.782 times 0.83 that gives us 1.5 1.47 round it up so now we know that the minimum dosage is 0.7 ounces per gallon and the maximum dosage is 1.5 ounces per gallon. We know our sprayer is 31 gallons. So if we multiply 31 times the low dosage, which is 0.7, that gives us 21.7 ounces. If we do 31 times the high dosage, which is 1.5, that'll give us 46.5. If you round to the nearest number, your dosage rate is anywhere from 22 to 46. 22 on the low side, 46 on the high side. That Remember, that's by weight. And that's if you fill the entire sprayer full of water. That's what we need to know to be able to spray. We'll have to decide, you know, you want to be on the low side or the high side. I like to be on the low side because you'll see when I spray, if I want to really cover something, I can just slow down. That'll increase the rate just because I'm going slower. So there's eight ounces, so that'll treat 12 gallons. There's another eight ounces. That's 24 gallons. And we'll do half. That should be right around 30 gallons or so. Eight 
and uh, remember the, the the spray rate on this is from one to two so I'm on the low side for sure actually since I'm doing this I'm gonna put a little bit extra in there and get up closer to the That's about an extra three ounces, so I want to make sure I get over that one pound per um, acre rate. Now, you really got to mix this stuff in, so. All right, we got it all mixed up, so let's go spray. seeds blow so what I'll do here is uh, gear it down so this will actually just do a higher application rate because I'm going slower This was mixing for prodiamine, which is a anti, uh, what is it called, uh, pre-emergent. So it just keeps the seeds from sprouting. And here's the cup I was talking about. So I've written on there, this is prodiamine, eight ounces for 12 gallons of water. And that's the, I know in my head that this is the minimum dosage. So and I just keep these together. Now, the thing is to remember Depending on what you're spraying, this was different for different chemicals. But now that you know, once you've figured out your spray rate, you know how many gallons will cover how many square feet, you can convert anything. So, like I said, I hope this helps. And if you've got any questions, just put them in the comments. I'll be happy to ask, answer them. Thanks. See you.
Are you gonna kill it or what? Whoa, 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 don't run off, it's coming after me.